Hey there, IDK Fred here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fidget spinner out of bullet casings and a bearing. Here we go! So, what you're going to need is you're going to need a bearing, and you're going to need some bullet casings, but not these. We are going to be using some 223, so you're going to need at least four 223 bullet bearings, would be my best guess. You're also going to need four 22 bullet casings. You're also going to need some washers or some paper. Probably a little bit of both will do. You also may need some kind of blunt object, like the end of this knife. You will also need some kind of super glue to go along with this. You also need some kind of dense substance to put inside of your bullet casings to add weight. Something like that will do. You're also going to need a couple of spent 9mm casings. And you may also need some modeling clay just to hold things in place, just in case. Now first off, you're going to want to take that dense substance and a piece of paper and crimp one side of it into a funnel-ish style piece like that. And then we're going to fill up each bullet casing as much as we can with this. You may want to take another piece of paper and roll it up as tight as you can and use it to compact your substance into the bullet as tight as you can. And then keep adding more until it is completely tight inside the bullet. Now take one of your 22 shells, once it is almost all the way full, but just leave a little bit extra at the top. And you're going to want to fill one of your 22 shells up just a little bit with this. Doesn't have to be all the way. Then you're going to want to take your 22 shell, which should be able to fit just inside the top of your 223 shell. And slide it almost all the way shut. And then you're going to want to take some of your super glue, wipe off the outside of your 22 shell, take a little bit of your super glue. And just dab a little bit of your super glue around the top of that. And then just kind of push it the rest of the way in with your blunt object. And it should be sealed up with your super glue with your dense substance here on the inside. Now go ahead and make the rest of your shells just like that one. Now that we've let these dry for a couple minutes, you're going to want to take one of them and line it up alongside on a flat surface your bearing. And when lined up along the side of your bearing, you'll see that it doesn't quite match up properly. 
and it's going to have a little bit of overhang right there. So. so we'll take one of the sticky notes and lay it down, put a washer right in the middle, throw your bearing right on top of that, and then using a little bit of your modeling clay, you'll stick down each of the corners of the little sticky note. And then that way, with the sticky note, you'll be able to get all of your four casings lined up evenly facing, evenly away from each other by 90 degrees. And then the little bit of modeling clay will help hold them in place while the glue dries. Works good. Go ahead and take a little bit of the modeling clay off. But now we are going to add our finger holds here in the middle, which are 9mm shells.
There we go, there's the finished bullet casing fidget spinner out of 223 bullets and 22 bolts and 9mm. Would have been a little bit better if I'd used a ceramic bearing, and if you want a little bit more stability, you might want to add some rings or something that's in between all of your 223 bolts to help hold them on in place. Maybe a little bit sturdier substance, something holding right onto the bearing, because may have broken this one already i might have but thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more random stuff like this and as always i don't know it was a fun fidget spinner to build i don't have a real one i have not bought one from the stores or anywhere else so this is my fidget spinner <laughs> see ya